Technology is changing very fast and you need to keep yourself updated with the latest technology and the average IT salary increases with each certification earned as it works as a catalyst in boosting your career. And such ID certifications help many people land a job, earn a promotion or even get a pay rise. So today there are plenty of platforms like Google, Microsoft, Harvard, Coursera, Udemy and many more where you can get yourself certified. But if you're not sure which certification is best for you and for which technology for the UK IT market. So today I'll be covering top 10 ID certifications in UK which is in demand in 2022 as per my knowledge. Hello guys, I'm Sarika and welcome back to Your Knowledge Buddy. So let's start with today's topic. So number 10 on my list is project management certifications. With the change in technology in every company, a lot of new changes are happening in IT, which are mainly managed by IT project managers. So if you're wondering what project managers are responsible for, they're responsible for planning, organizing, allocating resources for budgeting and successfully executing projects specific IT goals. In terms of eligibility, Anybody from any degree can start their career by doing project manager certifications. So you can start with junior project manager roles or even as a PMO analyst. And once you gain experience, you can start applying as a full time project manager roles in the UK. The average base salary for project managers in the UK is 50,000 per year. In the UK market, two certifications are well recognized. They are PRINCE2 and PMP. PRINCE2 stands for Projects in Controlled Environment and is a registered trademark of Excellus Limited. Whereas PMP stands for Project Management Professional from Project Management Institute, PMI. Prerequisites to pass PMP exams are, you need to have 4,500 hours of experience managing and directing projects, 35 hours of project management training, which is a must, exam duration which is 230 minutes exam volume is 180 questions the pmp exam is hard to pass without a good training or practice so if you're thinking to get a pmp certification for a project manager certification you can find an online pmp training like spoto and get certified at your own pace in just 14 days once you enroll for their service they will provide service support with access to all recorded videos on relevant technical knowledge explained by the PMP certified instructor with plenty of case studies. You can download this portal learning app to access the digital materials or even learn on your computer which means you can access the training video anytime and anywhere. You also get three months of free access and after learning you will get 35 hours of project management training which is important as a prerequisite to take this exam and also there is 100% money back guarantee. Now, if you want to pass the PMP exam fast, enroll in the PMP training now. The original price is $300 and now they are giving for $59.99 for 70% huge off via my link in the description and comment zone. Don't miss such huge markdown. And they are rated high on a trust pilot with a review rating of 4.9. Now, let's talk about number nine. So number nine on my list is network engineer certificate. Network engineers plan construct and manage networks to ensure they are optimized and functioning as intended and they design and improve networks. In terms of eligibility, anybody from any degree can start their career as a network engineer. Now let's talk about certification. So CompTIA A plus is an entry level certification that allows candidates to gain beginner knowledge on IT related matters, which can be built upon by achieving more advanced certification. It requires candidates to pass two exam, core one and core two. The average base salary in the UK for them is 46,000 per year. Number eight on my list is developer certifications. So a person who writes code in the backend for any language is known as a computer programmer, software developer, or even a coder. In terms of eligibility, anybody from any degree can start their career as a developer and you can take advantage of free sources like YouTube, Coursera, or Udemy to learn. In terms of certifications, each language got its own certification. Like for Java for entry level, go for Oracle Certified Associate Java Programmer OCAJP available for Java SE8 and Java SE11. For Python, PC PP1 and PC PP2 and for C++, C++ Certified Professional Programmer. The average base salary in the UK for Java developer is 56,000 per year and for Python developer it is 65,000 per year. Now, number seven on my list is Infrastructure Engineer Certificates. As an infrastructure engineer, you are responsible to design, implement, administer and support infrastructure technologies, solutions and services such as computing, storage, networking, physical infrastructures. In terms of eligibility, anybody from any degree can start their career 
and you should aim to take ITIL certification which stands for Infrastructure Library and it is the popular certification in the UK for Infrastructure Engineer. There is no requirement for you to take on a training workshop before you sit for the foundations exam. IT professionals who want to adopt ITIL in order to make service improvement in the organization or who wants to grow in their career as infrastructure expert can do this certification. So there are five levels here. So number one is foundation, number two is practitioner, number three is intermediate, number four is expert and number five is master. The average salary of service managers in the UK is 49,000 per year. Number six on my list is Scrum Master Certification. A Scrum Master's primary responsibility is to keep the development team organized and progressing on the projects they have agreed to in order of the priority. In terms of eligibility, anybody from any degree can start their career as a Scrum Master with certifications. The famous Scrum Master certifications in the UK are Professional Scrum Master PSM 1, 2 and 3. The average UK salary is 59,000 per year. Number five on my list is cyber security and information security certification. So cyber security professionals are responsible for protecting IT infrastructure, edge devices, networks and data. In terms of eligibility, it is not a necessary requirement to have a degree to become an IT cyber security engineer. However, it is recommended to have some qualifications or certifications specific to this industry. Three of the most highly regarded certifications for cybersecurity leaders and practitioners in the UK are first is CISM which stands for Certified Information Security Manager second is CISSP which stands for Certified Information System Security Professionals offered by ISC and number three is Offensive Security Certified Professional OSCP the average base salary of cybersecurity engineers in the UK is 47,000 per year Number four on my list is big data certification. Big data is a term that describes a large volume of data, both structured and unstructured, that floods business on a day-to-day -day basis. Big data can be analyzed for insights that lead to better decisions and strategic business moves. In terms of eligibility, it is not a necessary requirement to have a degree to become a big data engineer. However, it is recommended to have some qualifications or certifications specific to the industry. There are few certifications in the market like Amazon Web Services, AWS Certified Data Analytics, Cloudera Certified Associate CCA Spark and Hadoop Developer, Cloudera Certified Professional CCP Data Engineer, IBM Certified Data Architect Big Data, IBM Certified Data Engineer again in Big Data. The average base salary of Big Data Engineer is 51,000 per year and for Big Data Architect is 100k per year. Number three on my list is DevOps certificate. So DevOps is considered to be the union of the developer and operations. In terms of eligibility, with proper training and certifications, even a fresher can get a job in AWS DevOps, but it can be difficult without proper training and no projects in your CV. So two certifications which I have picked today is Docker Certified Associate and AWS DevOps. The average base salary in the UK is 52,000 per year. Number two on my list is data scientists, machine learning and AI certification. So let's understand what do data scientists do. They collect, analyze and process data. As per Gartner, there's increase in demand by 62% for data scientists. So this will be the new future. In terms of eligibility, if you have interest in stats like maths, you can start your career as junior data analytics or data analytics. After a few years of experience, you can start applying as data scientists. So let's look at some of the best machine learning and AI courses and certifications which can help you in improving your knowledge and the skills in the field of artificial intelligence. So number one is machine learning AI certification by Stanford University via Coursera. Number two is introduction to artificial intelligence by IBM via Coursera. And number three is deep learning by Andrew NG via Coursera. Also, there are a lot of free courses available like free data science courses Kaggle, free Coursera data science via uh, IBM called A Day in a Life of Data Scientists and What Problems They Solve, Google's Machine Learning Crash Course with TensorFlow and APIs. I'll provide all the links in the video description for your quick look. The average salary of data scientists in the UK is 52,000 per year. Now, number one on my list is, without any surprise, is Cloud Engineer Certification. So Cloud Engineers are responsible for performing the technical duties associated with cloud computing. This can involve anything from designing cloud software and systems to implementing and maintaining them. As more and more companies are migrating from their data center to cloud, there's sudden boom for cloud engineers. 
In terms of eligibility, anybody can start as a cloud analyst with certification. In fact, I did my cloud certification during COVID time and passed in my first attempt. So there are three best certification in the market. You can opt for AWS via Amazon or Azure in Google Certified Professional GCP via Google. Today I'll touch on AWS certification. So start with Certified Cloud Practitioner Exam followed by Solution Architect. There's no prerequisites to appear for Cloud Practitioner Exam. The cost of the exam is $120. The exam preparation time is approximately say four to six weeks. Exam duration is 90 minutes. Exam pattern is multiple choice questions and passing mark is 70%. The average base salary in the UK for cloud engineer is 60K per year and for cloud architect, it's 79K per year. So this brings me to the end of the video. By the way, don't forget to enroll in the PMP course to get the PMP certified in the first try. Find more in the comment section below. Do let me know what certifications are you planning to do this year. Thanks for watching the video till the end and I'll see you guys soon with my next video. Till then, keep learning.